If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how can note-taking skills be improved by restructuring language. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note-taking and planning technique. I've been helping people manage knowledge and information more effectively for the past 20 years. So, I've made an interesting statement about improving note-taking through restructuring language. Hmm, it's probably not something anybody's really thought of, to be honest, um, particularly in connection with note-taking, because everyone uses a previous generation note-taking technique developed 2,000 years ago, bring up to the current day, still being used. Everyone's taught to do it at school and they carry on doing it in their workplace, either with pen and paper or using a, a laptop. It's still the previous generation note-taking technique, but we're just using med modern technology, which has actually locked in this 2,000-year-old technique. And I'm going to show you how by just restructuring information, potentially this gives you, well, you're able to perform better and potentially give you a competitive edge over anybody who's listening using previous generation note taking, whether on pen and paper or on a laptop. Now, I come from a position where, you know, I used to take a lot of notes, um, you know, if it's a complex presentation or interview or coaching session, you know, I could end up with like two, three, four pages. And so my focus was on previous generation note taking, which is record as much as I can to use later on. That was it. Didn't give much thought apart from that. And, you know, it's quite stressful to do. It's pretty dull. Um, it's just something I'd do. And actually it was quite stressful as well. And then what happened was I started to actually make a switch between previous generation note-taking to next generation note-taking, where the purpose is creating knowledge real-time that can be used real-time. And the difference between information and knowledge, knowledge is the deep understanding of the information. And there are four key elements to next generation note-taking um, techniques. There's also a change in mindset as well, but I'm gonna explain these four key elements for you. And I'm going to explain how using the first two enables you to start restructuring language and why that is an advantage to you, potentially because you're able to spot questions, ideas, links that you might not have spotted otherwise. And certainly myself, I definitely wouldn't have spotted. So the first uh, secret to being able to restructure language is deep filtering. And I'll show you how it works. So here I've got some information. We want to find one method to create notes which give a clear structure and result us in us having better notes. So what would I deep filter? So I would probably keep find, I'd probably keep one, I'd probably keep method actually. Um, and I'd probably keep create. Uh, I may or may not keep notes, I'm not sure at this point. Um, clear structure, definitely keep. And uh, better notes, I would definitely keep. Now, already I've filtered out a lot of information. Um, and I would then, the, the second step is this deep processing. And I would do this as I'm listening to someone. So um, I would go find one method I, I abbreviate a lot it, it just helps with speed um, create and actually I don't think I will use words notes because I know the whole thing is about note taking notes I, I don't, I'm not going to use that word um, a clear structure
and better notes. And in fact, I'm going to not use the word notes, I'm going to say outcome. Because that's what I'm really after and that's what I'd be thinking. So this is the, um, the deep filtering and then the deep processing, I would end up with this. Now, this is where this restructuring comes in because particularly in the English language and a number of other languages, we put descriptive words before keywords. Now, what I do in reality in my head, I quickly switch the two to bring the keyword up front and see if that gives me more value, particularly if it gets, helps me to generate more ideas or ask better quality questions. So in reality, what I would have done, I wouldn't have done this. I would have gone structure, clear, because structure is a key word, and I would have switched this as well. I would have gone outcomes better. And this suddenly changes a lot of things, but it really enables me to ask better quality questions. So for, for example, I could say, well, what else you want to create um, structures and outcomes? What else do you want to create? And around here, I could say, well, apart from a, a clear structure, what other structures do you want? And it could be an organized structure. But bringing that keyword up front, again, it enables me to help people to think laterally. If I left it the other way around, there isn't that natural question. And again, similar here, outcomes better. You know, well, apart from better outcome, what do you want? Um, uh, it could be outcomes, I could put quality. It could be outcomes which are faster, particularly, you know, if I'm capturing, a, I mean, next generation note-taking technique, we use a different language. So rather than writing or recording, we use the word harvesting. So if I'm harvesting knowledge in a really important interview or coaching session, I wanna be able to write it up afterwards. So I need a faster outcome which enables me to write up what I want to write up faster and actually outcome with greater quality could be another one. So hopefully I've given you an idea of how restructuring language actually enables you to literally see things you wouldn't have seen otherwise, which gives you that advantage over the listeners and the note takers. The other advantage of doing this, it increases two key percentages. One is percentage RTU, which is percentage real-time understanding. So cognitive neuroscientists have tested previous generation note taking and real-time understanding is around 64%. They've then tested next generation note taking and within two weeks, it goes up to 76% real-time understanding. And after a year, it goes up to 84%. And for those people who are dyslexic, and I'm dyslexic myself, it goes up to 87%. So basically, if you're using next generation note taking, your understanding goes up 20%. Now, a lot of the jump from here to here will be around better structuring, reordering the language, because it just improves the depth and the quality of your understanding. Actually, another key advantage here with next generation note-taking is percentage GA, which is your ability to look down at the information, the knowledge you're, you're harvesting and use it real time. So for example, well, forget the fact that I've crossed things out, but I find that, personally, I find that much easier to look at a glance than that. And the result of that, I'll get an example. Uh, let me look for an example. I've got one here, actually. Here we go. That, for me, is the equivalent of a one-hour presentation, interview, or coaching session. I can get it on three quarters of a page and I can literally see everything that was said in the first five minutes to 30 minutes in to 55 minutes in and that 
gives me a huge amount of control, confidence, and I just feel that much more professional because I'm really on top of all the knowledge. Well, thank you very much for watching this. Um, if you like, please press like. And also, if you like what I've shown you, please feel free to start, you know, use these four elements of next generation note taking, um, particularly the deep filtering and the deep processing, because that's what's going to enable you to uh, restructure the language. Um, as always, please feel free to comment and also please share with you know, friends, clients, colleagues, anybody who's looking for ways to improve their note taking skills or want to improve their professionalism or want to have a competitive edge over people who are listening or taking previous generation note taking techniques. Thank you very, very much for watching and have a superb rest of the day. And of course, on the sides, at the top, down at the bottom, uh, there are some free tips for you on how to manage, manage information more effectively. Thank you very much.